Remember Paul told the people in, in Corinthians one time he visited the Corinthian church. He says that it seems as if I can't even tell you anything um, that's, that's, that's mature because you're still operating in the little surface things that you haven't gotten over yet to really deal with, with, the, with the works of the devil and how to deal with them in your own life and among you. Okay, so I want you to understand here that the will of God is, is that we understand what he's saying to us. First point, that he understands, that we understand everything that he's saying to us. That means we must, we must take the time to read it and to become familiar with it and to decide whether what we're going to do with it or not. So our text is today is 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says this. I want you to listen carefully now. He's talking to each and every one of us. No matter who you are, no matter what kind of attitude or temperament you might be at, this is what he's saying. And this is something that must happen in order for you to live with him forever. Or not only that, but to be a, a follower of Jesus Christ, a born-again believer here in the earth today. It says this, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, I'm sure you've heard this over and repeatedly. He is a new creature. All things are gone away, passed away. And behold, all things become new. Now there's something huge in this. This talks about a transformation, a total transformation of an individual's life. From death to life. Isn't that something? In this verse. And God wants it to be clear to each and every one of us that when we call on him, when we say we are his sons, 